I want to, since, yeah. since, look, constructive neutral evolution, here's a mechanism for you, gene duplication, right? And we can talk about that if you want. Oh, here we go. We all need to know what the words mean. Do you know what the Luria-Delbruck fluctuation test is? It's one of the most famous experiments in evolution. Have you heard of that? Because that explains- No, let, let's pause right. it there. One, one point or topic at a time. So Kent, he brought up gene duplication. So is gene duplication a, a viable mechanism for large-scale evolution? Absolutely not. It's a duplication of information that's already there. If I had a line of code to tell, you know, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word probably have identical lines of code, Let's say both of them go to the same spell check. Let's assume that they do. I, I suspect they do, okay? So what I'm doing my PowerPoint, is I underlines a red, red word in red, and I, I click spell check, and it comes to, it tells me the right way to spell it. The same thing happens when I'm working in Microsoft Word, okay? So does that, does, suppose I had two spell check programs loaded into my computer, or the same program loaded 45 times in my computer. It's the same thing. It's, a gene is incredibly complex. To duplicate that complex gene is not going to make anything new. It's like I told him, and you'll see the illustration here. I said, if I give you here, I'm going to give you this book to read. No, I'm going to give you 40 copies of this book. It's the same book, same information. Right. <clears throat> gene duplication is not going to help evolution at all. It's a duplication of an already phenomenally complex gene code. Who wrote the code, Dan? You're skipping the first four. <laughs> Kent, you nailed it. So he, here's my book on ERV. Let's say I gave you two copies. Hey, wow. Kent, I'm going to send you a copy of my ERV book. As a matter of fact, I'm going to send you two. Okay. Wow. Is that adding any additional information? No, no you just have a second copy of, of a book that you either already own or now I'm giving you. Now they'll get fancy. So they'll continue, right? Their evolutionary philosophy. The fancy word for it is neo functionalization. They'll say, okay, but that second book, can now start accumulating typographical errors. It can start accumulating mutations. And so now the new book is going to be different than the book before it was, it was duplicated. So the duplicated gene, according to them, is, is evolving or changing. But I would just say, no, now you have a more degenerated copy of the previous book. You adding spelling mistakes and errors to the duplicated version is not going to move things forward. 